If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. Hey! I'm T1 Glistener Elf. I was about to say I'm T1 Stoneforge Mystic. You're T1 Stoneforge Mystic. Hey! And this is my cute little baby, T1 Baby Bear. Uh, by special request, someone asked that I do a popper uh, deck tech for my Naya Zoo list. And so, without further ado, hey dear. Hey dear. Aww. She's really attached to me, in case that weren't off you. Don't take it off. Don't take it off yet. Mm. Ah. Let them get to see it a little bit longer. Uh, so, I'm going to try to do this from memory, because I'm going to be focusing on YouTube. And also, if I bring the computer over, she's going to want to whack the keys and that sort of thing. So, here we go. Uh, for the creatures, there are 20. They're all four ofs. Uh, we have four wild nacodal, of course, zoo. Uh, along the same lines, we have four curd ape. Uh, both of those sort of speak for themselves. Uh, easy, <laughs> oh, <laughs> jamming the eye. Easy value, right? Uh, <laughs> what is going? She's had her nap. She's still sleepy a little bit, a little bit. Oh my goodness! I'm, do I need to hold your head up too? Gotta hold you up and your head. Um, so next we have, oh my goodness, my train of thought. We have one basking rootwalla, aka the Geico gecko. Yeah, he's silly, isn't he? Uh, and then we have, or rather I should say we have four. It's a one drop. We have four of them. Uh, we have Core Skyfisher, a 2-3 flyer with the disadvantage of, you know, having to return a permanent to hand. But that's okay. It's usually okay, and it's usually worth it for a 2-3 flyer. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Don't walk out yet. Oh, let me get it. Let me get, I got it for you. See? There we go. <gasps> Oi! Did you drink? No, it wasn't the drink you were wanting? Maybe? What? Oh, come on. Be good. Be good. And then we have... Oh, boy. Instant smiles. Oi. How to smile. Oi. All right, you have four uh, Kasali Pride Mage. Oi. It's a 2-2 two, two for two, so it's on curve anyway, except it's actually a 3-3 three, three for two with Exalted, um, thanks to that good old trigger. Oi. And then we also have the ability to destroy an artifact or enchantment in the main board with this guy, so he's a cool cat. Literally, he's a cat. Yeah. He's not. I'm working on my dad jokes. Mm, here we go. Oi. Uh, next we have, in our uh, instance, we have four lightning bolt, obviously. Uh, and then we actually, in my version, I run four violent outburst. Just as a good, uh, yes, it improves my creature's power for the swing, but also it's just as a value card. Um, in this deck, it goes and gets everything except for we have 12 enchantments in the list and this is why I don't recommend you run my list in most metas. Uh, that's one thing I wanted to talk about actually. Uh, you don't want to run this in metas with a lot of removal because if you play an aura and they bolt your creature or whatnot then they'll two for one you and that's not where anyone wants to be. Um, but in my meta there was, let's see, there was mono, well, th for a while, mono blue delver, there was turbo fog, uh, white weenie, slivers, bogles, um, there were other decks, there was mono black, um, but they, and there was burn, but they just were relatively infrequent. Um, hey there. And so, running enchantments was a little bit e easier to do. Uh, we had four rancor. 
uh, because more power in trample uh, is, it speaks for itself, and recursion, so sometimes it's a, a one for one if your creature is lost, rather than the two for one that normally happens when an aura is hit. Okay, can you say wobbly 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 wee wobbly 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 wee yeah big smiles we have four madcap skills because while there wasn't as much removal there were still creatures again slivers bogles that sort of thing um and so it it helped to have menace or we now call it menace um and then the extra power three or two mana for extra three power and semi-evasion, that's pretty good, I hear, so that always helped. Uh, and because it's zoo, our creatures have a decent amount of toughness anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, and lastly, we have four armadillo cloak. It's a three drop, plus two, plus two, trample lifelink. Uh, this is the one that can't be hit with violent outburst. Uh, Sometimes you'll get into a situation where Violent Outburst will hit a, um, an enchantment, an aura, and you won't have a creature. And in that case, <laughs> it's obviously not so good. Uh, so when I sideboard for this deck, I usually take the auras out first. Um, if you have a more open meta, you may not want to put that many auras in. That's entirely too many, I suppose. Uh, the Armadillo Cloak gave me something against Burn, but even in that deck, you have it upside down, honey. You have it upside down. You switch it around this way. There we go. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Can you say boots? <laughs> Big smiles. Yeah. All right. um, <laughs> uh, I lost my train of thought. Can you tell? Uh, if you can find some more, oh, um, I'm still losing my train of thought. If you can find some more uh, instant or sorcery speed removal, uh, that would be good, especially if it can target creatures or players, because that means that whether they have a creature or not, you still get some use out of it. You can put more creatures in, actually. Um, I would certainly say that a hooting mandrels would be good for something like this. Uh, if you were to take out anything, take out Armadillo Cloak and put in Hooting Mandrels, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you do that, then there won't be any way that your creatures will survive Lightning Bolt, because neither Rancor, nor Madcap Skills, nor Violent Outburst for that matter, she's diving, uh, will save your creature from Bolt. Um, but shy of Bolt, you know, your creatures are big enough, they will get through. Uh, everything else. Uh, three toughness on all of the ones that I mentioned either have three toughness or have a way to get to three toughness. Kasali Pride Mage Exalted and Basking Root Wall is Ability. Yeah. Yeah, you're silly, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Tickly tickly. Uh, sideboard. COP Red. Of course. I would like to put in Vines of Vastwood, or Apostle's Blessing, or Ranger's Guile, some combination of those, um, in order to protect my creatures from spot removal. That's always good. Um, and if you're running a version of the list that actually plays like Nylia's Presence, and the one of Island and one of Swamp, and or one of, uh, then you can run Tribal Flames, because that was a common way back in the day. Uh, it's nice to be able to pay, I think it's only two mana for five damage. That, seem, that seems pretty good, wouldn't you say? Oh my goodness, right? Okay. Mm. okay. We're about ready. Mm. We're gonna say bye bye to everyone. Can you say bye bye? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Other sideboard cards? Honestly, I'm not sure. It's been so long since I've played the deck, and I don't know what the meta is like in Popper these days. I'd assume you'd want some Red Elemental or Pyroblast. Uh, I think Red Ele Elemental Blast was the one that was legal online in Popper. Mwah. All right. 
SpaghettiOs. Smiles. Can you say cookie? Can you say poop? <laughs> All the words. All right. Uh, what other words? Oh, the, sometimes this one works. Sometimes. Let's try it. Let's try it. You ready? Oh, pff, and your shoe, your little shoe fell. Can you say Cheerios? A little bit. Not enough. It doesn't. Not enough to count. Yeah. All right. Well, feel free to give it a try. Go for it. Um, if I think of anything else, hopefully I'll put it in the description. Any other, like, Creatures, for instance, that you might want to put into the list. Oh, uh, one other quick thing before I head out. Uh, giant Growth might actually be a card you'd want to consider. I know, I know. There are cards like Groundswell that are better. Um, you, sometimes better. But Giant Growth is always plays around Lightning Bolt. Always, always, always. We're going back to Alpha with Lightning Bolt versus Giant Growth. Um, that's something that you can consider. Groundswell as well, if you just want to pump your creature. Um, the land base is actually really simple. It's four Evolving Wilds, four Terramorphic Expanse, four Forest, four Plains, four Mountain. Uh, so, it's... <laughs> it's nice to be able to turn on Wild Nakatl and Curdate, but because each only produces one color, it creates some consistency issues. If you open without a fetch, that can really make the deck uh, not work too well, so be careful about that. But that's the deck. Alright, playing with your shoe. Are you gonna, sh before you go, show off your gloves. Alright, and then there's one more. Show off the other glove. It's not raining outside anymore, so we might go out. <gasps> she has her gloves on. She, they have bears on them too. Little smiley bears. The smiley bears. Smiley bears. Hey, Joey. We got smiley bears. All right. We'll see you later. Da -da. Bye bye. Kissy monster. Da -da. Da -da. You want to? You want to get it? Get it. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Da -da. What could possibly go wrong? Five, 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 five. My money's on five, yeah? There we go. Yes. All right. And then there was one more creature. Do you remember what that creature was? Because I sure don't, actually. What was that creature? I can't remember. We can start this over. We can start this over. Yeah. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> I want to keep this part in.